Whoa! What the? Can I get this thing right here? Oh. No carpets, no bottom back seat. Can we get the top? Yo, come on. I just want to touch my car. Don't touch the hood, don't touch the hood. It's going to disappear. All right, we're good. We're good. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Oh, man. There goes my plastics. Y'all know what time it is. Today is the day. Couldn't say I haven't been this hyped for a video in a long time, but the black TL is getting full air tech. But why did I say full? Just air tech, air suspension, and 3P management from Airlift Performance. You guys saw me throw in the back of the car. Got all my stuff. We pulled out the floor mats and the back seats just so I didn't have a ton of stuff sitting at D's garage. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel for a brand new video, it's me Lifestyle. Hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day and staying motivated as always. It's going down today, it almost didn't yesterday. D hit me up saying, hey, something came up on Saturday, I'm not gonna be able to install the air suspension for you. I said, D, I need it this weekend. If you don't do it for me, I'm gonna do it myself. And I think he heard that and did not want my car breaking down on the freeway. So he said, you know what, Sunday I'll do it for you. So that's what we're doing today. I really wanted D to do it because first of all, he's more experienced, but when I'm the one doing all the work on my car, it's really hard for me to make a really nice video. So now he's gonna be helping me. I'm gonna be behind the scenes doing all the stuff that I know how to do. I've done it before, tagged along when Alex helped me install the D2 air suspension and I learned the ins and outs of that. This time I'll definitely be more of a help, but I still wanna be behind the scenes on the camera. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up on today's video. Go down right now, drop a thumbs up. Before you watch the whole thing, we're removing our old air suspension and replacing it with AirTech. Best of the best, stay tuned. People who complain about the heat in Portland are negative people because we only get like two and a half, maybe three months of actual heat, which is like maybe 80 or above. And they're out here complaining. No, I hate the rain. Then they'll turn around and complain about the rain. If you hang around with people like that, they're negative people, get them out of your life. You don't need that going in your ear. Can't stand people who complain about the weather when it's nice outside. It's nice today. We got the tanks on, we're in tanks, get a little tan. Looks a little weird, but anyways. Quick stop to car toys, we're gonna grab some two gauge wire and a ground kit so we can relocate the battery to the rear. Thank you. Oh, we're so low. Are we pulling up? Starting at 12. Already breaking my car. <laughs> That's what you like. Step one, unplug the battery. No, no. Jack up the car. <laughs> Safely. Unplug the battery. Then hire D. Hire me. Do you want people coming to you? Sure. All right, we're tagging, tagging D right here. He does a ton of mechanic work. I've been working on a car since I was like in middle school. Oh, okay, Grow, good. Growing up. So he's the man with the plan, guys. Yep. And also detail work too. And de no, hit yeah, up me for detail. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be doing that. He's like, yeah, yo, yo, chill, bro. Yes, sir. Let's get a quick unboxing. 3P. So 
fucking she is. <laughs> You guys still laughing at my wheel spec? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I didn't tighten my leg nuts all the way. <laughs> For the fourth time on this channel. That was nice and tight. See, I'm pretty strong. Hand tight. <laughs> Certified torque spec. <laughs> Yeah. Got the slim bags in the front to clear the bigger wheels. Top strut bar. Pull that off, guys. See so you have access to top hat bolts. The old airline. All the fittings we put onto it. Dude, that could have busted any time, honestly. Oh, I could have. Yeah. I just didn't want to redo the whole entire line, so I just put those on there. I'm going to disassemble the old air suspension management. Guys, keep in mind this thing works perfectly fine. I've been running on the car for two years. The problem I keep having is this fuse right here going out. Just got a brand new one on there, actually. But um, I just need something better. Start number one's out, guys. Fronts were only on sleeves. If you were to buy these off me, I'd just replace the sleeve if I were you. It's been two years, no problems yet, but we don't want any problems. Front, we got the slim, what are they called, bellows or bellows? Elbows. Elbows? <laughs> so instead of having this big one in the front, you got the two slim ones. Sheesh. Hey. You don't know how long I've been wanting one of these. You feel like a cool guy now? The real deal, <laughs> yeah. Old air suspension management pulled out. Got it cleaned up a little bit. See this burn mark? This is from the compressors. Shouldn't have had it on the carpet like that, but I hate the carpet back here anyway. It's straight trash. Last 25 minutes, you got one out and one in. This ain't gonna take no five hours. It's gonna take six. <laughs> Two struts pulled out. This one right here, 100% ready to go for air. Just needs the air lines put it in. Boom. Oh, jumped. Shit. Got no choice but to do so. All four struts are in, guys. Had a little bit of an issue with this one. Um, it came in with the bolt on the hole that was right here, so we had to pull it out and put it in this one right here. They don't kind of go in slanted, so just got that figured out. Struts in, guys. Is that a compressor right here? Yeah. Look at that setup, guys. Ready for show. <laughs> Already looks better than my other setup right here on the ground. We're gonna get the wheels on and lower it and start making the presets.
bro. She dumped. She dumped. Two words. She dumped. <laughs> he adjusted the air tech so perfectly. Huge shout out to D for doing this for me, guys. Uh, make sure you guys are following him. If you're in the Portland, Vancouver area, hit him up for any mechanic work you do, you need. Um, doesn't charge a ton or does not charge nearly as much as a shop would ever charge you. Knocks it out, it's good vibes, and he does a good job. So hit him up if you guys are in need of any mechanic work. Look at the car, guys. I know she's super dirty. I was trying to find a shaded spot. This spot's usually shaded at this time, but it's not because it's really nice today and she has tons of smudges all over her because of us working on it. Do you guys remember? Do you guys even remember what this looked like? I'm gonna put a picture up right now of what it looked like before. The difference is huge, guys. Look how much dump this rear end is. Bro. That is, oh, air tech did me so good. It's, it's bothering me so much that it's dirty right now, but look how fast this thing airs up. And then it does some height adjustments. I don't know why the front's not going up to its right height. There it goes. I didn't push anything. He literally springs up in the front so nicely. Compressor's turned back on because I think the, um, the factory setup, it only sets you to 150 PSI. And um, so that's what it's at right now. It needs a little bit more than that to do the whole thing at once. And I think it was only at 140 when I actually pushed the button, so. But she springs up, rear springs up. This is my ride height for the rear, guys. The ride height actually looks really good. Front, of course, that would be awesome if I could drive like that, but I definitely have to bring it up a little bit more. Let me, uh, the whole back seat is still full. It needs to be cleared out. All the plastic still need to be put back on. One more dump shot before I end this video, guys. Just talked to the owner of the tire shop who's going to be helping me mount the Meisters and mount tires on the Meisters. So that's going to be coming next for this car before we start applying carbon parts. Stay tuned for that. If you're new here, subscribe, follow the journey. And exactly, I think we're down to 24 days or so that we're going to a show. And shout out to D for knocking it out in six hours. It was us three all working. I know the video is kind of fast paced, guys. Hard for me to pick up the camera and show a full how-to because D was just going to town and doing his thing. So I had to let him do his thing and keep the flow going. If you guys are curious, we wired the, um, the compressors to the cigarette lighter. So it's supposed to time out after a certain amount of time. But when I went to the car today, the remote was still on. So I don't know if it was timing out or not. We might have to readjust that. But I'm gonna be relocating the battery to the back before I start my trunk setup. So stay tuned for that. I'll show you guys how to do that, a full how-to. And maybe a little bit more of the electrical going on in the air suspension. So make sure you guys are subscribed, drop a like. We'll see you in the next one.